U.S. military ship passes through strategic Taiwan Strait. The United States sent a Navy ship through the Taiwan Strait, rekindling one of a growing number of flashpoints in Washington's relationship with Beijing. The U.S. military has increased the frequency of its transport movements through the strategic waterway in the face of opposition from China. The voyage risks further raising bilateral tension stoked by a bitter trade war but will likely be viewed by self-ruled Taiwan as a sign of support from the administration of President Donald Trump. This month China denounced arms sales from the United States to Taiwan and in July said it was ready for war if there was any move by Taiwan towards independence. Beijing has been ramping up pressure to assert its sovereignty over the island, which it considers a wayward province. Commander Reen Momsen, a spokeswoman for the U.S. Navy's 7th Fleet, said the ship's transit through the strait, a 180 kilometers wide waterway separating Taiwan from China, demonstrates the U.S. commitment to a free and open Indo-Pacific. The vessel is identified as the Green Bay, an amphibious transport dock ship. Philippines warns of unfriendly greeting for uninvited warships. Philippine President Rodrigo Duterte has warned of unfriendly treatment for foreign ships traveling in the country's territorial waters without permission, in a rare swipe at China's use of warships just a few miles off Manila's coast. Duterte spokesman, Salvador Panello, made the demand for transparency amid frustration by the Philippine military at multiple sightings this year of Chinese warships moving within the country's 12-mile territorial sea, at various locations in the archipelago. All foreign vessels passing our territorial waters must notify and get clearance from the proper government authority well in advance of the actual passage, Pinello said. Either we get a compliance in a friendly manner or we enforce it in an unfriendly manner, he added. The Philippines has lodged several diplomatic protests in recent weeks over the activities of Chinese Coast Guard. Navy and paramilitary fishing vessels in Philippine-controlled areas of the South China Sea and in its territorial waters. Japan to build new military facility on Miyako Island. The construction will begin soon, on new missile-related units and ammunition storage facilities on an island near the contested Senkaku Islands in the East China Sea. Tokyo's defense ministry said the facility will likely open next year where Japan's military has already acquired rights to use a quarry site. The ammunition to be stored on the island will be for the use of Japanese security units as Chinese activities escalate in the East China Sea. Armed Chinese Coast Guard vessels and armed fishing boats have been seen regularly in Japan-claimed waters near the Senkokus also known as Diaoyu in China. The report of new military construction comes after Japan's ground self-defense force opened a base in March housing 700 to 800 troops, anti-ship and surface-to-air missile batteries, and radar and intelligence gathering facilities. The base is unpopular with the residents of Miyako Island, and the ammunition stored on the island had to be moved out. The new facility will house the ammunition that was temporarily removed from Miyako. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. If you like the channel and want to support, please support on Patreon or PayPal. The details are given below in the description.